Welcome to another Grade 10 Information Technology lesson. In the work that was given previously, there was a concept that I said I will explain later, and that is the mask edit. We've been working with edit so far. It is in the edit, which is an input component, we relied what the end user had to enter. We had to test or make sure that the end user was really typing in what he or she should have, otherwise it resulted into the wrong input. And we know that wrong input can be one of the worst problems ever because sometimes it will result in a logical error and not necessarily a syntax error, which is then hard, harder to find. We're going to work with the mask edit which is being discussed in on page 98 of the textbook as i've explained the mask edit is an edit with a difference uh, we're going to use it as an input box but with the provision of certain limitations or criteria we can limit the end user or guide the end user exactly what should go in there we will find it from the additional tab on top and that's what it's going to look like. This little edit box is going to have built-in pro provisions to do a validation. And the validation can be of a type validation or a range validation. I'm going to discuss that. So in essence, it's going to force the end user to use the correct format as and when we allow them to enter. These are the characters that we need to understand as and when we add this into the edit. So the edit is going to have a mask or a template where we're going to supply specific characters and the purpose of this, so the character in this case if it precedes what needs to go in there it's going to change everything to uppercase. There's the one for lowercase. Literal if we have a backslash in there, the characters that will follow this will as it's been typed. There will be time that we will use literal and we'll do exercise to prove that. We're going to use the capital L when the character in this edit box is compulsory and it should be alpha, alphabetics, A, B's and C's. Whilst the lower L is going to be optional, that means I can leave an empty space although it should be alphabetical still capital a is compulsory for alphanumerics a b c hash one two three so it is compulsory i cannot leave a space i cannot leave a blank but it should be in the range of alphanumeric the lowercase a is optional meaning i can have a space in there nothing in there that means the range and it should be of alphanumeric as well the zero it's not an o it's a zero it's a compulsory placeholder for numeric uh, characters while the nine is an optional placeholder for numeric characters it is important that we remember this so let's jump straight to delphi and see how it's done from delphi we're going to look and find the additional tab on top and here it comes there's my mask edit so the first thing that i'll have to do is to add that and you'll notice that on the oi it looks slightly different and i'm going to explain and we're going to go through a few steps to see how it works so let's have a look and see where we're going to give this a name so the name in there I'm going to use, say it's a mask edit and we're going to I'm going to call it mask code for now so that's I'm going to give it a name and the next thing being an edit we don't want any text in there so we're going to say the text in there is nothing now there are two ways of entering those characters that we looked at earlier into my into my edit as a mask prevent the end user or to a guide or to force the end user to enter specific characters and i'm going to do it first on the the long way the easy way and then we're going to use the wizard to assist us with that 
So it's, it's for you to decide how you're going to do this. So what we're going to do there, there's the property called Edit Mask. And in Edit Mask, as we click there, if you do know the characters, you can type them in. And that's what I'm going to do for now. So I'm going to enter three lowercase l's, which means it is not compulsory. It should be alpha characters, but it should be not compulsory. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll explain how that works. I'm going to my next ones. Let's say we need a hyphen in there. And then I'm going to use one, two, three nines. What is a nine, a nine again? It's a character that's so it's optional but must be numeric. So I want three in there. I'm going to have a hyphen again. And I'm going to use one, two lower A's. A lower A means it's optional but it must be of alphanumeric means a combo of that so that's what my my ed, edit mask is going to look like for now this is what i said this is method one let's go and run this and see what happens here's my mask edit and you'll notice now that there are placeholders with the underline there's my little hyphen that i've added in there and the placeholders that i've kept remember we used a lower a case l which means it is optional but must be alpha if i type in a q and i'm going to do a capital q and what i'm going to do i'm going to use or leave the next one as a as a space i'm going to move on can you see it allows me because i said it is optional the next three we used the three nines it is optional but it must be numeric so I'm going to type in a 7, a 8, leave the 9, and move on to the next one. Can you see it allows us to leave that empty? And then the last ones, I said two lower A's, and it's optional, but it must be of alphanumeric. So I can say 1A. And this is exactly what it's done. It allowed us into that to type a lowercase, a uppercase, left a blank. That's in a nutshell what it's done. I've actually typed it in there. Let's create another. So we can see how it works. So what did we say? We're first going to name them, just to identify that. Then we're going to go to the tech. We don't want anything in there because we would like to put our own text in there. This method, I prefer to, to use this one especially if you're not really familiar with the mask edits as such. So let's go and find mask edit here. There we go. This time around, we're going to click on those three little dots. And once I click there, here comes the input mask editor to guide us, to show us uh, exactly what is going to go in there. So it is in here that we can now add those codes in there. For this round, I'm going to make everything, what, whatever goes into that box must be capitals. So I've just added a greater than sign to make them capitals. I'm therefore going to use capital L's, meaning here I need characters that's compulsory and must be alphabetic. I'm going to still use my hyphen. And the next one I'm going to use is one, two, three, zeros. Now the zero means character is compulsory and must be numeric, zero to nine. The next three or two characters I'm going to use the literal one. And literal starts with a backslash. And I would like to call this an E and a C. The E and the C, this is typical a car registration number from the Eastern Cape. Three alphas, three numerics, followed by the EC number towards the end. What's also nice here, I can define what characters I should use for blanks. And in this case, it's using the, it's using the underline. So I can, I can use any character in there. I've used the space. And can you see down here, 
it's already showing me what it's going to look like should I start working with this. Unlike the previous exercise where we didn't have a preview of what, it, what it's going to be. I can have a star in there as a little placeholder or blanks in there. Just about any character that you can think of can be replaced with that. It's merely a placeholder. Now in here you'll notice it says E, the backslash E backslash C and it says that in one that is merely when I have to make sure that whatever character I've typed in there should be literal meaning exactly as I've typed and zero is false and one is true so that's the way it's going to be so up here this is my test the way it's going to be and if I click on OK now can you see what it's done now and if you follow close, you'll see this is exactly the way it was typed in there. With the difference, I could have been guided and I saw a preview before I actually clicked that. That means if I'm now going to run this one and I'm about to enter characters in there, can you see my star as a placeholder? What did we use? We used the L and the L is compulsory, must be alphas. Let's try and cheat. Nothing. It won't work. But if I type in my three alphas, it's going to work. I've also typed in three zeros. That means numerics, numerics compulsory. So if I say one and I want to space, I'm trying to type a space there. It's not going to allow me. It forces me to go for another character. And can you see the EC? Those were literal numbers. Exactly the way I've typed it into my mask. So in this way, I can physically force the end user which characters at which place should be inserted by means of the mask edit. Handy component to use should you want to force the end user to type in specific characters enforcing correct numbers. There was that activity 13 that I asked you to, to ignore on the previous exercise. This is the one that you're going to do to page 99.